Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, we are going to take questions that we have set up on a Google Sheet, with the question being in the first row and then the options underneath it. And we're going to populate these options over to here to match these questions. So basically, it's matching up the question here and then populating the option. And we're doing that on a refresh of the form and when we first open it, basically. So when we refresh it here, it's going to go look at the Google Sheet and pull in those options like we have set in here. So now they're set in. If we want to add an option over here to our question. Like that. Then the next time this is opened up or refreshed, it'll bring in that extra option. So we got the white showing up here. So I'll give you a step-by-step -step process of how I put this together. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my Google Sheet. So here I have a Google Sheet. I got it called Questions from Google Sheets right here. And what I have is my question name is in A1. And I got another question name here is Enter Favorite Car. And then I have the options for that question underneath. And I could extend it, keep going down as far as I want. Same with this one. I can extend this all the way down as far as I want. I have the sheet name called the questions down here. And this is important because I'm going to reference questions down here. So that sums up our Google Sheet here. Next, we're going to move over to our form. This is a new form here. I got it called Populate Questions from Google Sheets. And I set the title here this way. Populate Questions from Google Sheets. Next, I'm going to add a question. So my first question. I'm going to go over to my Google Sheets here. I'm going to grab it. I'm just going to copy it. Come over here. And it's important that these names, questions match up because that's what it's going to look for. And I did this only for multiple choice questions in my example. And it, it takes just a slightly little bit of different code, code to do other questions. But in this example, I did multiple choice. So that's my first question. I'm going to leave as is. Next time, I'm gonna, next question, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to get enter favorite car. Copy that, come back over here, populate that, multiple choice, and we are good. We got our two questions set up, set up like this. Now with this example, I can add more questions and stuff with different selections. It's just going to only populate the options for these two questions. It's going to look into these two. So next, we're going to move on to our app script, which is all the way up here to the top right. You hit more up here. You come down here to script editor. So now it's going to open up this, and I'm going to name this Form App Script. I'm going to hit Rename. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy in my App Script code. So there I have it copied. I'm going to hit Save, and I will provide this code in a link from the description so you can find this code to copy in as well. So I'll go through each step line through the code here and show you how all this is brought together. So my first function is open form here, which has a E return. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this to an on open trigger function. So anytime this form is opened up or refreshed, it's going to fire populate questions here. So this is how this gets started with populating the options. So next I'm going to set up my open on open function here so I gotta set up a trigger so next I'm gonna go over here to triggers I'm gonna click there it's gonna open this up I'm gonna hit add trigger I'm gonna do it on the open form I'm gonna leave this as head I'm gonna do it from form and on open like that and leave this as as that notify me daily and hit save Next, I think it's going to take me through the permissions to make sure I have the permissions right to be able to set up this trigger. So it's going to ask me to do that. I'm going to pick my account, advanced, go form. And it's going to ask me to, if I could, I'm going to allow this to edit, create, and delete Google Sheets here. I'm going to allow it. And there we go. I got my on open 
function set up. So I'm going to go back over to my editor. So next I'm going to go populate questions here. So the first thing I'm doing is grabbing my active form. So this is the form that is linked to this app script and I can I could see it over here on this screen here, populate questions, and it's got this emblem here. This form is attached to this app script. So I'm going to grab the active form. Um, here I'm going to grab the data from Google Sheets calling this function right here. Now I have this function set up down here. So get question values. I'm using a spreadsheet open by ID. So if I go over here, this ID up here will populate is the ID of this spreadsheet and this is the questions I'm using. So I'm going to use this ID up here and I'm putting it in right there. I'm using the then next I'm defining the sheet name so I have this object now I'm getting the sheet name that I'm using which is questions which is back down here our sheet name and then from there I'm getting the, getting the data range and getting the values. So basically I'm just pulling all the data off here. And it's going to set this up in a multi-dimensional array coming back. And I can show you that here real quick. If I come down here, hit enter, hit debugger, semicolon, and I come up here, switch this to get question values, and hit debug. Over here on the right, it's going to show me the array that's coming back. So this is eight long and each one has values in there. So it's multi-dimensional. So each each row is its own array as it's going down. So I'll come back, close that out, take this out. And then we'll continue on. So now we got that array. The next thing I'm calling is the items array. So I'm getting all the items for this form. And items is the questions. So if I go back over here, this is grabbing question one and question two here. I'm setting that up in an array. I'm doing a for each, so I'm going to iterate through each question. And then from here, I am going through the zero here, the zero record of the data I'm getting back from the Google Sheets. So my zero is the header record. So I go over here, this is the zero array here. So this is my header. I'm going to go through and I'm going to try to pick out the question that's trying to match up the question to the questions I got set up on the Google Sheets. So here I'm iterating through my header record basically and getting the value and the index of that. So then I'm looking up that value, which would be my question name to the item get title the title of each question is the same thing as the question that's being asked so if those two equal then i'm coming down here i am setting up an array here my choice array then from there i'm iterating through my google sheet questions the full array basically starting at one i'm not going to start at zero because that's my header record i'm going to start at one Starting here, starting at this row. And then from there, I'm using this header index. So from which index I find the question, so this would be zero and this is one. So say I, I matched up on the zero index, I'm gonna go down. I wanna grab all the zeros in each array as I'm going down. The same thing here, if I find it at one here, I'm gonna go down on one so I'm kind of flipping, pivoting this table to, to get the options from the array. So then from there, I got my Google Sheets. I got my, I'm pulling in the first array for each row and I'm getting my header index. So if this is always zero, I pull my first question. So this is zero. If this is not equal nothing, then I'm gonna push it to my choices array here with the value right there and if if it does equal no i'm going to do nothing here and then from there this is the command that sets the multiple choice items set choice values and then my choice array so i'm stringing through building my options here and then i am setting the choice values of my question and then it goes back up here 
iterates to the next question. I'm cutting through. If there's a match, then it does this, builds the options, populates it, then done. So that's how that works. That's how it builds the options and populates each question. So I'm going to hit save. Next, we'll go ahead and refresh our form. So I'm up here. I'm going to hit refresh. And there it populates our options from our Google Sheets. That concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.